I'm JD, I'm the CLO of Exonify, but more important than that, I am the world's greatest popcorn maker. World's greatest might be a slight overstatement, but I am very good with popcorn. In fact, my popcorn skills go back about 25 years at this point to my very first job. My first job was in a movie theater. I was the person selling you overpriced soda and popcorn when you went to see the latest Star Wars film. I'm curious, anyone here who started your career, your first job in a frontline role, maybe a retail store, server, what did, what did you do? Um, like pot washing. Are there any skills you learned in that job you still apply today, like my popcorn skills? Attention to detail, great answer. So my frontline experience goes well beyond my days as a popcorn maker, because I then spent the next 25 years working exclusively with frontline employees. So I spent about 10 years with the Walt Disney Company managing theme park operations and learning and development before heading to Kaplan, the world's largest education company, where I enabled their contact center employees. So I've seen firsthand just how critical the role is that frontline employees play within our businesses. Frankly, our organizations are only as successful as our frontline execution is consistent. The challenge is that supporting frontline employees is also challenging. All right. If you look at the reality of frontline enablement, I believe everyone wants to help frontline employees do their best work, but unfortunately, frontline employees don't see the same level of investment as our corporate counterparts. In fact, only 1% of technology spending in the corporate world goes to supporting frontline employees. And the challenge is that frontline enablement it's just a really hard math problem with a lot of different variables, right? You're supporting a large number of people, potentially thousands to tens of thousands of employees with a small but mighty learning and development team or potentially that mighty department of one. Those employees are located across locations, regions, geographies, countries. They're very operationally focused, right? They're supporting your customers and certainly your products every day. They don't have a lot of extra time and they're often managed to the minute, like in my contact center world, Literally, people are managed to the minute. They use different types of technology. Most frontline workers don't sit in front of a computer. You see the word deskless a lot when it comes to the frontline space. But they're using technology like Zebra handheld devices or tablets located in their department or the desktop computer that's located in the break room. So it's a very different technology story. And they all have very different needs. They come to you from different backgrounds with different experiences. They have different language preferences. And every frontline employee is with your organization for a different reason. Some people are trying to actively build a career in your industry, and some people are just there because they need a paycheck to take care of themselves and their family. But the reality of every frontline employee is that they deserve the opportunity to be able to do their best work every day. And it's that idea is the reason I joined Exonify eight years ago. So at Exonify, we build technology, including learning technology, communications technology, and operation tools that help frontline employees do their best work every day. But rather than just talk about what Exonify does, let's live the Exonify experience through the eyes of a frontline employee. So we're going to ride along with Jana today. Jana's a produce clerk at a grocery store called Grocery Galaxy. She's worked there for about six months. She's doing a good job. She's getting high marks for her manager. She's still figuring some stuff out, but now she's starting to think about maybe cross-training into another department in the store, because if she can do multiple roles, she can get a better schedule, and it also increases her pay. So she's very interested in developing herself for different reasons, and now I want to show you how Exonify helps bring those goals to life in a way that's simple, frictionless, and adds value to the organization as well as the employee's day-to-day -day reality on the job. So let's take a look at what that looks like. <laughs> So here we go into the Exonify experience. In this case, it's rebranded to Grocery Galaxy because Exonify is often renamed and rebranded to match your organization's look and feel. She can access Exonify on any internet capable device. So she might use the smartphone in her pocket. She might use the deli scale because did you know deli scales have large touch screens connecting to the internet? That's how they know how much the meat costs. You can complete training on a deli scale, all types of different devices available in the operation. If she's using her personal device, we can gate access to Exonify when she's maybe on the clock actively working, or if she's on the Wi-Fi network at the store to make sure she's getting compensated when she's doing her job. And we leverage a variety of different single sign-on options to make accessing your daily training as easy as possible, no matter how tech savvy someone may or may not be. So we just clocked in for our shift. We're working with Janet. We're logging into Exonify because we have maybe three to five minutes before we got to get into the produce department to start doing our job. So when we log into Exonify, we actually see the first thing's not a training activity, this is part of our communications tool set. We call this a broadcast. So this is actually the CEO of the company sharing the latest quarterly update with the entire workforce. 
So instead of this being a cascaded email that just goes to managers, the CEO can speak directly to every member of the team via various types of media, via text messaging. So we have a variety of different communication applications you'll see throughout the Exonify experience. We also note we're live captioning the video using artificial intelligence, and we're able to translate those captions into a wide variety of languages with great accuracy. So again, regardless of what someone's preferred language is, we can make sure they get the timely update they need to do their job effectively today. So after we get our download, we have the latest update we need, we go to the Exonify hub screen. So at this point, what Exonify is doing is we're using Janet's data profile, and we're asking the question, if Janet has three to five minutes today, what's the best way to spend that limited time? So we look at all the data we have available on Janet, past training experiences, her current knowledge level, her level of expertise in different topics, behavior observation data that her managers collected on the job, maybe business KPIs related to safety on the job. Basically, everything we know about Janet goes into our adaptive learning capability to personalize each login experience just for her. So in this case, we see that we have a daily training session. This could be a variety of different types of activities. We could have compliance training coming due. We would automatically serve that up so you don't have to chase Janet down to finish compliance training. We'll automate that process. She may be working through a new process update that's going on in the store. That would automatically populate. And she may complete a SCORE module. She may use an XAPI module. All the formats you're familiar with in your learning management systems. But in this case, this daily training session, this is actually a practice session. Ms. Janet doesn't have anything new going on right now. There's nothing coming due. So we're going to help Janet practice with information that's critical to her job. I'll show you what that looks like. So we're going to click into the big green start button to begin my personalized daily session for the day. And here I'm actually presented with the opportunity to play a game as part of my session. Now the gameplay is actually not part of the learning experience per se. We use gameplay for two very specific reasons. One, have you ever tried to interrupt someone while they're playing a game? Can you get their attention? No. We use the same trick to put people into a state of flow because we know frontline employees are working in busy, noisy environments, kind of like an expo hall. The second reason we use it is to make the learning experience more social, more collaborative, and sometimes more competitive because you can actually challenge your peers to high score competitions. You can play multiple user games. There's a variety of ways to make the Exonify experience part of your team conversation, not just something personal for you. But if you're not maybe into the games, you don't feel like playing a game today, you can just skip right past the game, go straight into the practice activities. So here we're using questions to challenge Janet's knowledge. So this isn't a test environment. It's the opportunity to learn through applying what you know, because we're using spaced repetition and retrieval practice type techniques to make sure Janet remembers what she's trained on, no matter how long ago she last saw that information. So maybe she last saw this information during onboarding six months ago. We need her to know this information today so she can make the right decision on the job. So we're gonna answer three different types of questions during our practice experience. And in Exonify, we have different types of practice activities, hotspot questions, sequencing, these types of ideas. Here, we're just gonna use multiple choice questions. This one's about lettuce. Do I have any lettuce experts in the audience? Help me with the no leafy green knowledge. Okay, I'll do this myself. But this question is actually from our content marketplace. So it, at Exonify, we built out a marketplace of content just for frontline workers, because frankly, no one builds great lettuce training nowadays. That's actually a really serious problem. If you, anyone in grocery, you know what I'm talking about, right? So we built 800 different topics, all focused on the types of knowledge and skills frontline employees need in hospitality, retail, grocery, a variety of different industries. So this is one of those questions. This is coming out of our marketplace about how you're crisping heads of lettuce and bunches of leafy greens. What do you do once they finish soaking? All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with shake and remove the excess water. And now we're asked how confident are we in the knowledge? Because that's an important data point because we wanna understand, do people know the information and do they know they know the information? Because let's say someone answers this incorrectly but is highly confident What's happening on the job when they're making decisions that they're highly confident in and they have no idea what's actually happening? So we're using that data point to adapt the learning experience for Janet. We're also surfacing that data to her manager so she, that manager can step in and ask some questions if they're showing that they're over or potentially underconfident with their knowledge. In this case, I'm highly confident about my lettuce knowledge. You know a lot about my life now. So I got it correct. So I actually earned a couple rewards points. I'll show you where theirs are going. But I'm also told I got the answer correct and I'm given some additional information because it's not a testing experience, it's a learning experience through application. Our second question is about customer service. Again, something that's important because I'm out in the store working in the produce department. 
talking to customers all day? This question actually didn't come from our marketplace. This one's written by artificial intelligence. So we have a tool in Exonify, a proprietary LLM that we built ourselves called Content Assistant. What you do is you drop your source material into Content Assistant. It applies our instructional design methodology to build reinforcement activities like these questions. So this question built by artificial intelligence wants us to know how do we use positive language while we're working with customers? Um, I think we're gonna highlight what we can do for them, not what we can't do. Medium confidence, I got it right. I'm doing a good job today. It's good. I have a big audience. Usually I do this myself. Let's go to our third question. This one's written by an instructional designer. This one's particularly timely. Is anyone in retail? Are you having conversations about self-checkout technology? Sometimes you're having conversations about loss prevention and theft. You combine self-checkout technology, loss prevention, and theft. We have a different conversation. So this is asking Janet, what are some of the common types of, of theft she might want to look out for if she's staffing the self-checkout area? So we've got label, barcode switching, got distracting the staff, breaking or interfering with a scanner. I'm going distracting the staff on this one. Maybe people are going to just walk right by me while they're distracting me. I'm low confidence, though. I was doing so well, too. I didn't get that one right, but again, it's a learning experience, so I'm told what the correct answer was and why that's the correct answer. And now Exonify knows that I may be struggling with the topic of loss prevention, so it might move that information up in my daily experience. So I'm likely to see not this question per se, but this topic moving forward. And again, my manager will understand maybe Janet's struggling in this particular area that, he, that we might need additional assistance with. So we've completed our three questions for today. That pretty much completes the learning experience for our shift. This would typically have taken less than three minutes without all of my exuberant explaining. But we're not done with the Exonify experience because now we have the option to tell a friend. This is a really cool feature we built in partnership with Bloomingdale's. So it's a, it's a great way to show how we partner with organizations who really understand what the frontline work experience is like. What tell a friend is, is it provides a list of people on Janet's team that maybe aren't logging in as frequently for their training as they should be. So instead of having the manager go chase that person down and have that conversation, Janet has the opportunity to pick somebody and then go in real life and nudge them and say, hey, you should log in and do your training today. And if you log in and do your training, I get points. I like that. So it's a way, again, to make the, the conversation more social, more collaborative, more part of a conversation amongst peers, not just about managers and HR coming to you and saying, do your training. No one wants that. So that's the telefriend experience. And now we land on the hub screen of Exonify. So we see we've opened up to a variety of different opportunities and capabilities, including our leaderboard. So here we see that Janet is on the, number two on the leaderboard right now. So she's completing her training sessions. She's getting a lot of points as she completes different activities successfully. Got to work a little harder because Joanna, she's tough to beat. The leaderboard is actually the most popular screen in Exonify because, again, making the experience competitive. If this doesn't match your workplace culture, it's a great example of how you can customize the Exonify experience. You don't have to include the leaderboard, the gamification elements, the points. It's up to you based on the needs of your employees and what motivates people to come back in and learn every day. Where do the points go? Well, here's our shop. So Exonify allows you to basically turn the tangible effort of learning into tangible recognition for your team members. So you can insert a variety of different types of rewards that make sense, again, for your organization, your culture. That could include gift cards, charitable donation matching. My favorite is the best parking space. When I worked in contact centers, people would almost come to blows over the best parking space. We made a sign that was themed after our Exonify instance and put it at the best parking. People like good parking spaces. You can run uh, raffles, auctions, and run an entire shop out of Exonify using the points people earn as part of their learning experience. Here we have what we call our community timeline. So Janet can quickly check in on what's going on within the communities that she's a part of. So maybe she's a part of her store community, as well as the produce community for the entire organization. So she can check out people sharing their best practices, answer questions, share something that she's learned along the way. So again, add a social element to the day-to-day -day training experience. And then, like I mentioned, Janet's interested in doing more, right? She wants to potentially cross-train maybe into the stocking position because she can get that better schedule and get a bump in pay. So she'll come into Exonify, search for stocking training, and find that we have a variety of paths available in a self-directed learning modality that she can self-enroll into and complete different activities like on-the-job training. Maybe she'll complete some e-learning on this topic. Or maybe she might not be allowed to self-enroll, but she can signal she's interested and her manager may have to require the approval to let her complete the training because she's going to be doing it on the job. 
and make sure that she's ready to maybe move on to the next position. So that gives you a quick idea of what Jana can complete in less than five minutes before she has to get out and complete her busy shift in the produce department. And how Exonify helps bring that day-to-day -day training experience to life. But that might not be the only time Janet sees Exonify team. Because later in the day, she's working in the produce department with the, with the lettuce. If you remember anything about me, lettuce. But she's working in the produce department, a customer comes up to her and asks her about a sale that's happening somewhere else in the store. She doesn't know those products. So typically she'd have to go find somebody else, leave the customer waiting, or maybe answer with the dreaded, I don't know. How do we eliminate that? Well, in her pocket rests Exonify, her digital assistant that she pulls out on her personal device or maybe the handheld she's using to do her job. And instead of saying, I don't know, she's gonna ask Max. Max is our digital assistant. So she'll come in, ask Max the question, are the Walker Crisps on sale this week? Walker's Crisps, anybody a fan? No chip fancy, okay. I don't know these things. So we're gonna ask Max, what's going on with this sale? In just a couple of seconds, Max returns the answer that yes, those are on sale this week in these variety of flavors, including Supreme Prawn Cocktail. I don't know what that tastes like, but I'm okay not having that particular knowledge. So what Max does is it looks at information available in Exonify to provide an answer to these questions. It doesn't search the internet. It doesn't break outside the barrier of your knowledge base. It uses what you've provided Exonify to answer these questions. And the really cool thing is that Janet could have asked this question in her preferred language. Max will answer in that language, even if the source material is written in English. So again, another opportunity to elevate the equity within the frontline learning experience. So that's a quick summary of how Janet leverages Exonify to help achieve her goals during her busy shift in just five minutes. So what did we do? We checked out the company update. We got the latest information from the CEO, completed a personalized training and reinforcement session, self-enrolled in our cross-training opportunity, checked in with our community in a variety of ways. And finally, we found the correct answer to a customer's question without having to risk saying, I don't know. The last point of my story is Janet's not the only member of her team using Exonify today because Janet's manager is also leveraging Zonify to do his job because he's using Zonify to track his team's progress. Instead of having to look at ad hoc reports and email, he has all that information available in his pocket as well. He's using Identify to leverage insights for trackable, coachable moments. So having the right conversation with people based on where they're really struggling. It's completing behavior observations, feeding a critical data point so we understand how learning is being transferred on the job. Communicating with team members using our communications tools celebrating great performance when people reach expert status. And finally, he's using Exonify for his own training and support. Because again, part of the entire frontline experience, inclusive of the critical frontline management team. But my favorite thing about Exonify, frankly, and the reason I joined the team after having been a customer, is that it works. So Exonify is currently used in over 160 countries and 60 plus languages, seeing outstanding engagement across the board, including the folks at Foot Locker, in EMEA and APAC, who are coming in 12 times per month. When you consider that a lot of uh, part-time workers work in those stores, that's pretty much every shift. Getting great feedback, for an example, from the retail bank and regional presidents at RBC, showing the operations team understands the value of committing the day-to-day -day experience and having people focus on their training for just five minutes a day, and seeing great outcomes like the team at Ethicon, who's selling complex medical devices to medical professionals, seeing their knowledge boost significantly on critical product topics. So that is my story about how we enable frontline employees in five minutes a day, moving as fast as I possibly can, because 15 minutes and you're sitting on benches.